Hello everyone, my name is Christopher Liston and the title of my living book is One Heck of a Humbling Experience. So in order to give you some background about my story, my story takes place in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. And it takes place in about 2001, maybe 2002. So I would have been around 24 years old. Now, um, I had been driving around in Canada on my English driving license for about a year. And I had passed my test in England when I was 18. So I'd been driving for several years, but it was time to get my Ontario driving license. And the first step of getting your Ontario driving license at the time was to complete your online written test. And um, I did this online and I found it relatively easy and I passed no problem. So then it was time to book my driving exam. And um, that's where my story begins. So fast forward, I think it was, it was, win it was fall time. Um, November going into December time and there was a little bit of snow on the ground so I decided to take a different vehicle than my regular vehicle one that I thought was a little bit safer so um, the day starts with me meeting the test examiner um, him introducing himself and, and going through some some basics of how the exam would work and I was a little bit nervous obviously um, but confident that I had done well in my written test and the fact that I've been driving for several years anyway. So um, the, the, the test started out really well. I was making sure that I was, you know, checking my mirrors and checking over my shoulder and keeping within the speed limit and being super observant of the road and the conditions. I was feeling pretty confident. But I kept thinking back to my English driving test. And the one thing everyone thinks about on their English driving test is the emergency stop procedure. So the emergency stop procedure is part of the driving exam in England. And the idea is that you can bring your vehicle to a controlled stop in the shortest amount of time to simulate a pedestrian walking out in front of you or an object in front of you and for you to safely navigate that. And so in England, um, the driving examiner gives you a little bit of warning and takes you onto a quiet road. So going back to my exam in Kingston, Ontario, we finally pull on to a quieter road. And I'm thinking to myself, this is it. This is the quiet road. This is where he's going to ask me to do the emergency stop. So I'm driving a little bit slower than normal. And I think I hear the word emergency. I definitely don't recall the, the instructions that I received from my English exam in preparation for it. But I'm pretty sure that I hear the word emergency. So immediately I slam on the brakes, I push the gear stick into neutral and I bring the car to a controlled stop in a really short space of time. But I see my examiner kind of lurch forward and recoil back in his seat like he's not expecting it. And I see his clipboard go one way and his pen go the other way. And once a car is still, I turn to look at the examiner and I see this look of shock and horror on his face. He cannot believe what has just happened. And he turns to me and he says in an exasperated way, Christopher, what the heck was that? <laughs> and at that moment, in that moment of clarity, I suddenly realize that there is no emergency stop procedure in the Canadian driving exam. 
and I have just slammed on my brakes and brought the car to a sudden stop in the middle of a Kingston Street when that was not asked of me. Once the examiner composes himself, his expression changes into this kind of stern, serious look and he turns to me and he says, Christopher, you need to exit the driver's side door and come into the passenger seat. The exam is now over. You have failed the exam and we need to return to the test centre. <laughs> And I don't know how I feel. I feel shocked, but I feel a bigger sense of embarrassment that I have <laughs> assumed um, a part of the exam that wasn't there. So sheepishly, I get out of the, the driver's side and I, I walk around to the passenger side and I get in and and it's, it's a relatively short distance back to the test center, but it feels like forever. There is absolute silence in the vehicle. Nobody is talking. You can cut the atmosphere with a knife. It's that thick. <laughs> and when we get back to the test center, I'm so embarrassed that I don't even go inside. I cannot go inside to face this man again to receive my failed paperwork. Instead, I get into my friend's car and we drive back home and I never return to Kingston to do my driving test. I drive an hour in the opposite direction to Belleville to try again. That's my story. That <laughs> is one heck of a humbling experience that I wanted to share with you. Thanks for listening.